I'm back with Janine Floyd from First United Methodist Church, and we're talking about the Sewing Grace Ministry. When Janine and I were talking earlier, it was so interesting uh, some of the stories that she was telling me about when she went to Honduras and seeing the children get the dresses. And I asked her, I said, you've got to share this with everybody because it almost made me cry sitting here, and it, it was just so touching. And I'd like for you to share that with our listeners, too. Well, when we discovered that we were going this year and I was going to be able to go with the team back in 2011, June of 2011, at the last moment I became aware that there was a possibility of getting some advice from another agency that does this sort of work in Africa. So when I called and talked with them, they it encouraged us to take the dresses this year that they donated and they donated 400 dresses and the lady said, if you'll, you don't realize the need until you get there, and if you will take these 400 dresses and hand them to these little girls that have never had a dress before, see what a prized possession it comes to that child, then they'll just set you on fire. So I guess it really has. Over at the church, I have talked it and talked it, and every time they see me coming, they know we've got to talk little dresses. So uh, these little dresses are truly simple to make, easy to make, not terribly expensive, and uh, we are going to do them individually. We'll also have a day to gather and sew at the church in January, February, and in March. This is an ongoing project that will run between the time we kicked it off in October, and it'll run until mid-March when we have to pack everything and get it shipped for the June mission trip. So you have a chance to become involved through the holidays, make a donation, uh, bring a few yards of fabric, uh, come after the first of the year and see how things are going with it. Our goal is to have, my goal is to have a thousand dresses. If we go over, that's perfectly okay. <laughs> and if we don't get quite that many, then that's just what was intended to be. But that's my goal is a thousand dresses. And we have lots of people involved and it's truly been a blessing to us. We also had a Sunday at church when our little girls in the church took their shoes off, changed out of their Sunday clothes, put on these little dresses, oh, and showed huge. the whole congregation what it was all about. And since that time, I've noticed many of those little girls will ease into the choir office there at church where we have the dresses stacked, and they'll just shop and shop and go through and look and look and talk about the little dresses. So we've been blessed tremendously already before they're done, before they ever get there. But that little child, that little girl, in Honduras who never had someone give up the time and the effort and go to the trouble to do something just for them. That's the goal. That's the real blessing. Thank you so much, Janine. I just think this is a wonderful opportunity. Thank I you do. So and I appreciate your taking time oh, to come and do these videos with us. And I hope you will take time to think about these children when you're in a shop that maybe has fabric or elastic like she's like Janine says, and bring to the church, or contact Janine, or contact First United Methodist Church, and become a part of the Sewing Grace Ministry. Thank you so much. If you have anything that you would like to promote on mckeenews.com, give us a call. We are all about missions. Thank you. Have a great day.